Hey guys, King Gath here, and welcome to episode 11 of my Children of Adam Fallout 4 Sims Settlements Forever Let's Play. And today, we're going to find out what's back here. We're going to get to the end of this room. I don't care how many rats I got to take to get there. We might be popping a lot of rat eggs. But speaking of that, I downloaded a new mod on, on uh, recommendation from CureCore in the comments called Frost Simplified Sorting. I'm curious what you guys all think about this mod because it has a feature I absolutely love. First off, the name of it is uh, misleading. It says Frost, so you'd assume it requires Frost. But on the optional files, there's actually a version that doesn't require Frost. It just requires the unofficial patch. Now, the issue I have with it... Um, I, and I have one like subtle issue that I'll get used to, which is that I don't like that it colorizes all the items just because it just feels wrong. <laughs> I'm so used to just the bland screen of the Pip Boy. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe I'll start to love it. Uh, but the thing it fixes for me that I love here is uh, that it just makes my aid screen one. It's just one thing. Everything fits right here. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm sure it could be tightened up even more with a little bit of patching, but this required no patching, and my aid screen feels better than it ever has. This is what I would like to see Bethesda do to the Pip Boy in general. Just make it so that it can never go past a full uh, scroll. If it has to go past a scroll, it needs a subcategory. Like that's how it should be. It's just like uh, some some good AI or UI design would would feel way better there. So this feels awesome. Now my other concern, aside from the coloration, again coloration is just me being nitpicky. The other one is that it replaces one of the files that HUD framework requires. And uh, I put HUD Framework over past this, like lower than this in the load order to prevent that from happening so that hopefully HUD Framework is still functioning. And uh, as long as that works, I'm happy with it. But HUD Framework actually has a patcher. So if this mod works, if this sort mod works, if none of you guys has anything terrible to say about it that I need to be aware of, I'll just go pat, I'll just go use the patcher on HUD Framework. And if this c continues to work, I might ask the mod author, because this is actually really old. This mod was released quite a while ago. Uh, if I can re-release it as a, uh, as a patched version without frost in the title so that everybody can find this dang thing, because this would be really cool. Just this alone, if this is all it does is fixes my aid category, it's worth it with weight and gold. And if, especially nice that it puts the Radax right away and Stimpax right up here. Although in that same post, Kierkor pointed out that I don't need to keep diving through my aid tab. I can do Stimpax and right away from here, and I just never think to do that. So in fact, uh, we'll just go ahead and go ahead and stim all there. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. Then I've got I got to do the right away too. Here we go. Go ahead and clean that up. We got all this extra with Kim's. All right, so let's uh, let's head inside here and let's see what's going on. Past hey you. At this point, you're in Adam's hands. <laughs> Well, this could be obnoxious for you guys to listen to with that horrible sound. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what we got here. Um, do I need... I should just check and make sure all my weapons are reloaded. I feel like this is a mistake I make every time I go into combat. Let's see, you're good. Oh, what about our... Yep, our secret weapon is good. Our, our backup, we are just... Oh, I just sold all the ammunition for that. What does that even use? Uh, 10 millimeter. Oops. I uh, sold off all my ammo. For that, not thinking that I was ever using 10 millimeter. Uh, we got this guy. Are we just just screwed in here? Oh, here we go. We got this. Are we not even gonna have to worry about combat? Is there a? Can I shoot this? Shut up. Oh, that's not an option. Sorry, guys. Oh, that goes away quick though. What do we got in here? Hey, we can just run away from that. All right, that works for me. I feel like I don't need to stealth around down here. Like, what could be down here? Are there even any enemies down here? Yeah, workbench. Just looking for loot and continuation of our our quest to take over the children. Um, anyone down here? No, no, I'm not crawling in there. Okay. All empty. All right, hell. Let's get moving. Wait a second. Is this the end? That was the end. Okay. I'm not very good at these direction things. All right. Let's go up here. Back to the obnoxious sounds. Yep. We get it. We get it. Hey. Whoa. What is this? M4 SCP. Oh. Oh. Those are horrible. Oh. I know what's going on here. Oh. Uh, excuse me. I want to disable this mod that we just talked about. I think I see the issue. Okay, so we're back, uh, and you can see that all the crazy wording was the tags to make those little symbols appear, and what have you. So what I ended up doing was just, uh, I made uh, HUD Framework go ahead and get overwritten by this, because I'm not actually playing with any HUD Framework required mods most of the time. I think maybe that crit bar on my screen requires it, but I'm not actually using that. And while I am using, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, Hal, Hal, this is your fault. 
Well, this thing's surprisingly effective. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right above my head. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was your fault, Hell. Alright, you guys. Hey. Area. Yeah, what is it? Secure. Stay right here. Over here. Stay. Easy. Hell. Hell, stay. Where, where's the stay button? Okay, hey. never mind. Sure, no sweat. Never mind. Alright, you guys just deal with it. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, all right, let me hide over here. Let them deal with that. All right, you guys fight those things you're going to be calling. Uh, um, so, uh, HUD mod. Oh, HUD framework. I'm actually on this particular save with the character. I'm not doing my settlement stuff yet, which needs HUD framework. I'm doing all that on a different save file. So I actually don't care if HUD framework gets overwritten right now. But, again, if you guys know about this mod and uh, if you have nothing terrible to say about it, then uh, I'll, I'll make the effort to uh, do a patcher for it so that way... Uh, long term, I can use both in turn. Maybe you guys can too, because I, I have always had a problem with inventory mods because I hate how much patching is required. So I've been looking for a solution that doesn't require patching. Um, and while you can see clearly that this could use some patching, you can see that most of my equipment isn't tagged. Um, even if all it did was just sort of fix my aid screen, I'd be happy with it. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Wow, I have terrible aim. This this gun is intense. Operation complete. Uh, yeah, I did all the work. Don't take credit for it. You dick. All right. Uh, I don't know why I keep looting everything. I don't need any loot. I'm playing in free build mode on the character I am uh, actually on, but I just I just really want my skull rockets. There we go. I didn't need that military cap. All right. Uh, oof. Anything. Was this supposed to be terminal locked and you just walked right in? What does this say? Uh, uh, leak detected. Evac zone. I like that style of uh, terminal. Nice and easy to read. Minimal lettering. Am I supposed to collect you guys? I don't remember. Glue, blue card. No. Just in case. I, I feel like the... the um, well, I know for a fact... One, Identify yourself. I'm the guy with the gun. Who are you? Uh, but yeah, Beantown Interiors, I think, is the one that has a uh, hidden collection of gnomes everywhere, and I have I've never looked for it, but uh, I, I love when stuff like that is in there. Um, if I was taking the character extremely, if I was going extremely meticulous, like, whoa. Once in a while, I like to do a run through these games. Uh, like I did this a lot with... Uh, of Skyrim, where I would just play extremely meticulously and try and collect every single little collectible item by mods, and it could be a lot of fun because you got to really pay attention to everything. Uh, but these characters I'm doing for this Let's Play, that is definitely not the goal. It's pure entertainment, a little bit of fun for me uh, in goofing around, and uh, mostly just t kicking the tires on Sims Elements all the, and all of its features and looking for anywhere that uh, my mods might be conflicting with the rest of the game because I hate. I hate when mods do that, and I don't want to be guilty of it. So I'm hoping that the uh, this Let's Play and uh, constantly engaging with you guys will, will help us clean up those mods so that they make for... Why did I not grab that? That's totally useful stuff. Got to have that pair of scissors um, to make my mods better so everybody can have a better time. Uh, whoa! I literally just jumped in my seat off of that. I'll fall down. Abiding citizens will not be harmed. I don't know if this weapon's just generally amazing or if it's just it happens to be a really good Robo Slayer. What is this? Uh, electricity damage and 20 points, plus 20 during rainy weather. Creating a very powerful and blah, blah, colossal damage is applied to mechanical targets. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I'll take all this stuff. Thanks. Kill it. A nucleus. Is that? Oh, oh, how did I not see that? Are you alive? Is this one too? Does not appear to be. Okay. All right. Let's... I need a password. Oh, you kidding me? Cock blocked by a password. No, I don't. Need... None of you are a password. Um. 
guess this feels like probably story content gated, but I don't remember this at all. All right, let's poke my head into the nucleus here through this entrance and see where this goes. All right, so I guess nothing. Uh, is there anywhere we can jump down here? Well, Hal found a plot spot. There we go. Oh, yeah, look. He's giving the speech now. All hail Hal, leader of the children. Okay, I guess uh, this is telling us it's time to proceed with the main quest. I think I've got to go... I gotta go move forward a little bit more with the Acadia stuff. I don't remember. Who cares? Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go proceed with that stuff and, and see what happens. And if you guys know I'm heading in the wrong direction, and you guys know there is a way to continue with the children without me having to do anything with uh, with Acadia first, well, let me know. All right. What do you got to say? I've got those storage drives you asked for. Oh. Oh, I forgot. That's I did great. This. Thank you. Uh, just the two? Really? I somehow thought there were three. Wait. You saying I'm stealing from you? You didn't say anything about a certain number of them. Is there a problem? Hmm? No. No problem. Not really. I just... I really was rather sure there had been three. Well, you did your part, so I'll do mine. Thank you for recovering these. Hey, water caps. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take the XP. Unless Hi. One level up. Yes? Uh... Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. I'm sorry. Okay. Never mind. Okay. But thanks for the caps. All right. Um... Well, there's a bunch of quest markers here. I'm not. I don't want to talk to Dima again. He freaks me out. He's trying to convince me I'm a synth. Uh, I can't hack that terminal. But maybe I think there's. I can eavesdrop on a meeting in the basement or something. Let's try that. Oh, there's another marker. Okay. Who are we marked on over here? Oh, thanks. I'll take those. Am I just supposed to stealth over here? Why is this quest objective over here? Or did I do something for, for you? Can I help you? Uh, still collecting sure. asters. I have. Oh, some maybe that's why. You. I'm sorry. Is this a joke I'm not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be. Oh. Okay. Could have sworn a quest marker was there. Um. Yeah, it is. What is going on over here? Oh, here we go. Okay, gain access to the storage room. All right, where's the storage room at? You want to buy something or what? Uh, no, I don't want to buy anything. Thanks, though. Sorry, a little delayed reaction. <laughs> I'm like getting lost in my map markers here. Um, wait, was the quest objective just like on the? Up on this thing? Let's see here. No. Alright, let's go up. I could have sworn there was a for a second there was a map marker on the telescope. This is a really cool uh set piece. I like this. Oh here we go. That's what I was pointing at. Okay, now where is that storage room? I assume downstairs. Let's try that. How about you? Hey, there we go. What's this one say? Storage room notice. I think I read this before. Yeah, okay. Eve shop on the meeting. Okay. Hide and wait. Done. Hal, I know you're going to ruin this for us. There we go.
We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, bad news for can we talk about like the elephant either. in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some oh, projections the security, of so... worst case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment. I like that Chase. they use the dialogue cameras for this, but and it yes. feels like a cinematic scene. We've been writing a program that will the let you access like in Skyrim or and the download game, my memories. Games, you would have just it's had not to going to, to be like a normal hack. Quite as, uh, You'll be breaking game. through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Okay. Tain Faraday's program. Talk to Diva. Uh, let's see. Can I get into your? Um, let's try. Let's try this way first. Don't mind me. Shh. You don't see me. Diva sees all. Uh, you don't have it. And uh, you're gonna be a tough pickpocket. Let's see how good my stealth is. Stealthing over here. Can't see me. Can't see me. Greedy. Distract her. Okay, never mind. Let's see, let's talk to you. Again. <coughs> yes? I'm sorry. Can I, can I pick your no pocket, mind. please? Okay. Alright, let's talk hey, to Dima. Dima. Again. Is there anything I can do? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam I guess making I just them back my hands. to Acadia. That's not, not a great strategy you, here. You're new to the island. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much ignore, do you know? Ignore the children of Adam. Do you have on any my questions for me? Chest plate. About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? I always have questions. Uh, the children of Adam on this island. 
you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting you know, it the fog swallow them. It just occurred to me that I'm doing back-to-back -back evil characters. <laughs> like, I'm... There's no, there's really no way to justify the Children of Adam as like a good faction. They are, they are just like everything they're trying to do because they're gonna just make people sick. And like the, their goal, even if they're, even if they're kind of keeping off to themselves and just being like, hey, we just want to worship in peace. They're bringing in like barrels of creations and stuff to get other Take people around them sick. You left your memory. Gonna have to do a good guy character after this one for sure. As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay, in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world, a safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. My mask actually looks like it was Pose made out of, as a uh, recruit and infiltrate those, uh, the children of Adam. Fog filters. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need hey. in order to okay. access well, my was, memories. That made this a lot Bring easier. me anything you find. Sure. It's not going to be sure. like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Okay. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Okay, then. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Adam at bay. Ooh, no but that means that. you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Okay, got the program. Um, report back to Kasumi. What? Why am I talking to her? Okay, well now you got my curiosity peaked. Let's, uh, is she downstairs? Uh, nope, that is not downstairs. Uh, this looks like downstairs. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? He's got to still be hiding something. What could not, be in those memories I'm gonna that tell you would he leave is. them behind? Is there really something in them that's... Dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Hmm. Let's see. About here. the children of Adam. 
What do you know about them? <laughs> well, I heard about them a Looks little so bit absurd back me in asking the these questions in full radiation worship. COA something. regalia. Like, like look that? at that stuff. I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. Mm, I'm words, getting yes. paid for all this, right? Don't worry. I have money. Not to mention the fact that you'll have whatever secrets are in Dima's earliest memories. He lived on the island for almost a century before building Acadia. He has to know about some treasure somewhere, don't you think? Indeed, and I could use some more treasures. I'm loving all this gear I'm getting here. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, <laughs> even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, yep, can't we'll have, have him his in own the hands memories of the children. to confront him with. Uh, if all I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall, yeah, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. Hey, hook it up with those caps and ding! There we go. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's head back to the. All right, this week Rainbow's got a bunch of Sim Settlements content for us, which I'm always happy to talk about. So first up, we've got a new faction pack. But before we get into that, so I guess second up, uh, something by that same author. So the uh, new faction pack is by Blacklight2207, and Blacklight2207 is the author of the Enclave faction pack. Now that one came out, I know people were very excited about it, because the Enclave is one of the most requested factions to have content for in Fallout 4, period, much less with the Conqueror system. And when that came out, I know tons of requests came out for more features and more stuff, and Blacklight is back and delivering as of, I think, uh, just just a few, maybe just a week ago. Looks like it just got updated. So uh, Blacklight is back to updating that. Reading the posts that he put, it looks like there's going to be more stuff coming. So if you've been waiting for a chance to play as the Enclave and Conqueror, now is as good a time as any. It's available uh, from the Enclave faction pack, which recently got an update from Blacklight 2207. Now I also want to talk about his new faction pack, the Ghoulish U.S. Army Remnant, which I love the idea of this one. I like the idea that uh, some members of the military would have inevitably been turned into ghouls, and then they would have reformed as a, a military unit. That's a really cool idea, and it uses uh, the stuff that's available in the game. It looks like he's even got some stuff from, I don't know if it's from uh, uh, DLC or Creation Club or from other mods he got permission for. I don't know where all this stuff is coming from, but there's like some power armor in army format. There's uh, uh, flags, and uh, looks like this thing's getting pretty well fleshed out. A lot of cool ideas to check out in here, so if you're looking for a new faction pack to try out, you can try out the uh, Enclave or the Ghoulish U.S. Army Remnant, both by Blacklight 2207. And then last but certainly not least, we have a city plan. And I don't normally feature these because there's just so many of them out there. But this one in particular has a really cool feature. And the author is uh, actually on the Sim Settlements team as one of our beta testers. All around great community member. And I know he is fantastic at designing the city plan. So it should be bug free. So I wanted to point you guys to this. And that is Spectacle Island with Connecting Bridges by Fealty Casual. And this one really stuck out to me because of that connecting bridges part. I had to go look at it and see what he did. And he took advantage of the fact that Sim Settlements doesn't actually care about borders. It will actually place anything you want in the world, anywhere in the world, so long as when you go ahead and create the city plan, it was linked to the workshop. And those people who have done a lot of the city building and stuff like that and done a lot of workshop building, they know how to do that through console commands just, uh, or through clever use of place everywhere. And that is what Phil has done. And not only did he build a bridge, but he didn't just build, you know, the typical, here's a bunch of pre-war bridge or here's a bunch of 
pieces of the or the, the wooden shack looking bridge that's in the build kit by default. Instead, he built what looks like something natural in Fallout 4. It looks like somebody scraped together a bunch of old sunken boats and scrap and just piled them together into a makeshift terrible bridge that you can barely cross. You have to be very careful. It just looks awesome. It feels super Fallout and it's a great footbridge for those of you guys who like to play without fast travel or in survival mode where you want to be able to get to Spectacle Island and back without having to soak up a ton of rads. And this is a really cool way to do it. And it's all done through the city plan. So check out Spectacle Island with Connecting Bridges by Phil T. Casual. All right, I got some random objective around here. What's, what's this for? A stranger came best to deals in town. Help you. Well, really, That's the, best the only deals in town. You have to help us. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. I have my hands full so you can either buy something or move along. Mm. You find me untrustworthy with my fancy headgear? If that synth got lost somewhere on the island, he could be in real trouble. Don't you care about that? Look, friend, no offense. What I care about is my business. I'm sorry. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need okay, more information I gotta get than that. Find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. Mm. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry, my nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I oh, help him. I thought I was supposed to hunt really him. Do. Sorry about that, buddy. Right. Should have said that up front. Find the missing synth. Guns, guns, and more guns. Hey, I'm who said that? that You're talking my language this. lately. I need more of that 10 millimeter. Oh, it's this stick. Uh, I need more, uh, yeah, I need more 10 millimeter ammo because I accidentally fast. sold it all for my uh, backup weapon here. Uh, let's see. I don't need any of you. Here we go. Ammunition. That 113 rounds will do. What can I give you in exchange? You can have my 30. No, not my 308. You can have my 38 rounds. Wait, I, it says I do have 10 millimeter. What is going on here? All right. Cancel. Cancel trade. Something wrong here. What does that weapon use? There are no police. I do have ammo. Maybe maybe it was my imagination. Oh, I wonder if it was that HUD overwrite. Maybe that was the problem. Is the whole HUD front con conflict? Ew, a conflict? Because I did swap out. But yeah, 48 rounds or 60 rounds, whatever this is, that's plenty. I don't need to buy any. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. Oh, apparently there are robot rescuers. Who said I was a detective? Mayor so Avery said that again. someone new had arrived on the island investigating a missing person. That must be you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands and we need an outside set of eyes. Oh, murder. Excellent. Oh, my favorite colors. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Uh, attempt, I want to ask the, the questions, but I, I also want the money. Who's All right, let's hope I get another shot. Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. <laughs> Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Uh, Is now this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. 
Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. Will you help us? Ha! There may still be a murderer at large. Uh, this type of, of investigation cash. usually requires a retainer. Can make beds for people oh, out of it. you're a private investigator, not an employee of the state. Well, yes, then I suppose a retainer can be arranged. Please, hey, you must go. help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. If there may be a murderer, I'm gonna need some danger pay as well. I'm afraid that's all I have on me. But my employers are, well, rather wealthy, and I can definitely put a word well, in for you. Well, since you're pre-war, hopefully you they're all us? just corpses there and may I can still just be a relieve them of their cash. Large. Uh, sure. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank you. We always say yes to quests. Shall I guide we don't always you to the Cliff's them. Edge Hotel now? Uh, where, where is, is it? it again? The Cliff's Edge Hotel, just up the coast from town. You really can't miss it. Shall we be off? Oh, I'll Go meet ahead. you there. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Alright, where is this? Is this in the direction we're even heading? Uh, let's see. Did it, where is this? Is it a mis is it just a miscellaneous? All that just for miscellaneous? That's usu unusual. Let's see. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Cliff's Edge. All right, we're gonna do this. Ugh. Okay, this is the downside of of being a dick to all these NPCs and taking their quests and not responding to them. It takes forever to go through. Oh, it was right there. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're kind of heading that direction. Maybe we could follow her. I don't think I'm after the missing synth. I need to. Let's see, I've got a... Which ones am I actually trying to do here? Or not... I don't know if I need... If I care about that one. I think I have to do this one. This is really what I want to be doing. I want to find out... Un uncover his secrets. I think that's all I really need to do. So. Uh, we don't need to worry about power tools. Um, I think we just need to go here. Not not pearls. This thing. Whatever this one is right here. I think that's where I gotta go. Or at least that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm sure you guys are screaming at the screen. You know exactly what I've got. What I'm supposed to do to proceed. But uh, all right. Let's. Uh, I have an order fast travel, so I guess we're running. All right. We'll see you there in two years. You won't notice. Oh. What's going on over here? Oh, there she is again. Am I just unintentionally following her? Whoa, whoa. Who said that? No. No. Hey, that's what I wanted. There we go. Hey, yeah, I'll take that. That luck pop. Uh, there's another one over here. Come on, wake up. Oh, hey, Pearl. Oh, we're not, we're not following you. I know there's another one of you guys over here somewhere. Come on, stand up. I hear you. Hey, there you are, buddy. This looks promising. Security operation successful. Resuming normal operation. You know how you're getting on my nerves taking credit for all my kills. Oh, this is probably that hotel. Yeah, okay. No, we're not doing that. Not anytime soon. Hey there, Mr. Ghoul. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, and one more for you. That's why I use a shotgun. Do not have to have good aim. You just you just point in the general direction and you're fine. Oh, who said that? See that thing? No good. Shotgun. Just just point and click. Whoa! Analysis. Green. Neutralization operation. 
Wait, that's it? Complete. You just said Why did you have a quest objective on you? Maybe I'm supposed to clear this area? Uh, how about you? You got one too? Yep. Little fog ghoul. Oh, here's somebody else. Oh, okay. That was why. Oh, and that was not the right objective. <laughs> totally wrong place. Don't care about Cassie Dalton. Uh, okay, I forgot to record. You guys missed me uh, coming back down here and getting in here. Oh, and then no problem, but I just turned on the power switch. Fought this idiot who gave me a terrible, terrible legendary. Uh, but now we're going to hop in. I know a lot of people dislike these mini games, but I love stuff like this. So let's see if I remember how to beat it. Uh, yep, memory. Let's go. Okay. Code block, defense construct, voter relay. You okay? Use to help your voter. If you were listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. Yes. Store, please. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chain of Minecraft, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The I Indexers have one purpose. To get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. First things first. The blue blocks you're standing on are called code blocks. Some of them can be repurposed. See if you can grab one of the lighter colored blocks. Use them to fill in any gaps along the path for your indexers to cross. Go little bugs, go! Okay. Good, you're across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Hmm, that's right, okay. Unlocked when you break through the firewall, okay. Store you, store you. Okay, put you down here. Do I have to fill in this whole gap for them? Maybe I do. They're all just kind of chilling. Let's try. You guys need a full path? Oh no! Whoops. Oh, that felt stupid. No, I don't want to exit the simulation. What do you guys think? Do I got to fill in this whole path, maybe? You can cross the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. Yeah, I already did. Thanks, bud. That red firewall is blocking All right, well, let's just assume I got to kill. I got to do this. Okay, let's see here. Do We're going to see that you. green beam of light? That's a decoder light. beam. What happens if I get hit by the it decoder beam? The Am I fine? Wall. You yeah, just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Ah, okay. This way, please. Is that redirect? There it is. And then we make our little bridge. Good. 
Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. Hey, right, you kill those things. You too. And you guys, get to work. All right, let's look for more code blocks we can take, just because. What are you guys doing? Maybe they don't like the lack of uh, safety railing. Here you go, little bugs, feel better. Look, I repaired the wall for you. Okay, so I looked online about this, and apparently this is a known issue with Far Harbor in here. If you start messing around, before the little explanation from Dima's voiceover is done, then I guess it screws it up. So I need to just kind of chill and stop looting things and doing other things. If you were listening to hmm, they're not moving. What do you guys think? So I already tried off camera uh, doing a bunch of stuff with moving them around with console commands and nothing works nothing works at all so m maybe this is why so many people want to skip this just because it's just flat out broken um cause this is terrible I i'm hoping this is a mod there's no way they shipped it like this and i've done it before without it breaking so i don't know what the f is going on <sighs> okay so the first one 100 broken at least with my mod setup so Console commanded past it. Let's uh, let's see if the second one is broken as well, because I'm really curious if, if one of my mods is messing with this stuff or uh, what's going on. Because uh, obviously there would have been a lot more complaints than just people wanting to skip it if uh, if it shipped broken. And just like this, there we go. Go little bugs, go. Or are you gonna get stuck again? No, one of them's going. What do you think? What do you guys think? I don't know how Hal got in here. <laughs> you're just breaking the laws of uh, of the universe. Appreciate that, Hal. Glad you're here to. You got my back. Maybe you can fight these uh, silly red things for me. What do we think? Well, that this isn't looking great so far. This guy's still chilling here. Uh, let's see. We can pull these down now. Nope. You guys have given up on life. Oh, bye, Hal. Come on, guys. Okay. All right. Yeah. The, I there's it's got to be one of my mods has mucked this up, which that's really unfortunate. I hope uh hope I can figure out which mod it was, but that I'm just not gonna try because it would take forever to chew through my 200 mods to try and figure this out. So I guess we're going with the old console command cheats. Uh, if you guys have the same problem, you can look those up real easily. Just console commands for the name of this quest. What is the name of this quest, by the way? Uh. Well, I can't do it in here. But anyway, you guys can figure it out. Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, I think I'm going to go build my settlement. You guys can just assume this gets done off camera. Yep, it's that time again. Endorsements. All right, guys. Uh, I don't have any to do today because I still haven't seen a lot of these mods or I haven't confirmed that they're working yet. So I don't want to uh, endorse them prematurely. But I want to show you guys for you haven't seen this section. Um, most of you are probably sick and tired of me telling you this over and over again, but it's going to get through eventually. Uh, but basically, if you come into your Vortex profile here, click on mods, change this little endorsing to undecided, you'll see all those mods you haven't yet hit that thumbs up on. Hit that thumbs up on the ones you like. And then the ones you really like, right click them, go to open on Nexus mods, and go leave them a comment. This little thing is so quick and easy, and it is what drives mod authors. Uh, they are unpaid. They're just doing this for passion, but they secretly are doing it for these endorsements. You don't know, but they're secretly doing it for this. So uh, go give them those endorsements. Uh, encourage them to keep making cool stuff for us so that we can just grow this mod list uh, until it's much, much harder. We're up to 286. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's get to, I want, I want to beat Raybo one day. We're going to get to 500, but we need more people building cool mods to get there. Okay, we are back at Sunshine. And you guys missed out on a bunch of me experimenting. I was trying out different things, trying to see what felt right, what looked good. Uh, in the process, while I was dinking around, I ended up rewiring a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I remember that I forgot to wire this guy up, so I did the nice little little wires around here. Tried to leave it uh, tight to the silo so that I have room to re-scaffold this thing when I'm ready to do that. And then I started working on this thing. Well, somebody in the comments, and I apologize, I didn't write down the name of the person. I hope you know who you are and claim it down, down below, and I'll... Uh, I'll uh, 
like and uh, pin it when uh, when you do. But uh, they suggested instead of me having this wonky wood structure with the stairs going outside, I just extend this building and put the stairs inside. And I like that idea, so that is what I went with. And uh, I went ahead, and while I was doing that, I went ahead and sealed off all these uh, the the big gap that was in there between our upper floor and. Uh, the rooftop there so now we've got just this mega structure and I'm not sure exactly what we do here I'm thinking this is gonna be kind of all warehouse space in this on this floor and then we go up here and then we've got uh, our little uh, we've got our clinic little food and chem station and then this is kind of the players office area I gotta I gotta tweak these a bit I'm gonna have to move things around add more decorations because this is just this is just barren right now we can't have this so, uh, still a lot of work to do still and like little detail stuff but that's uh, I'm not gonna get hung up on that right now uh, obviously this rock no good but we'll cover that up but with uh, crates and things like that if this is just gonna be all warehouse space here another option I could do here is I could cram an industrial plot in here but I'm not sure I like that idea there's just nowhere good to put it with the natural door that I can't remove here. I was able to get these floors. They, they don't match up perfectly, but pretty close. Um, I think height-wise, I might have missed the mark on there. Yeah, this one's a little bit high, and I could actually probably lower that without an issue. Actually, let's go ahead and undo that. Let's see if my uh, hotkeys are going to work on for me. They don't appear to be. Some, oh, 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 there it goes. Uh, let's zero you, reset you. Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. I accidentally clicked my mouse. And Got it all wonky. All right, let's try right there. And then let's hit the down button a bit. So I hit it three, four. Now let's try three feels good. One, two, three. No, it was more than that. I must have miscounted there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Six. Wow, I was way off. <laughs> whoa, whoa. And then I hit it again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks about right. Okay, now we're pretty square with there. There's probably gonna be a slight gap now in these walls, but I might just let that slide. Let's see. I just don't want to have a gap between here and the next level up. Let's see. How's this gap look? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just gotta do this all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure you guys love hearing me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then we get another gap up here. Okay. Uh, so this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's pop up here. Let's see how this looks from out here. Okay. And then we got our rooftop that kind of covers up the gap up there. So that works for me. Okay. So I one thing I don't like about this is how this wall is too barren. I don't know what to do about that. But I am gonna I'm gonna scoot these plots around a bit. So that if this mega structure exists here, then these plots would be a little more orderly in here um, so we're gonna yes but rebuild the same model actually I might actually change that model because I realized I have the exact same model right over there um, but let's go ahead and tuck this guy in let's turn off the snap we'll just use this nice make a nice use of the space right here uh, maybe we'll turn it though just a little bit just a little crooked because I, I love when things are uh, disorganized a bit and about like that and then this guy here, I'm thinking we open up this path a little bit more. So we're going to scoot this guy back. So we'll say yes, rebuild same model. Scoot this guy back here. And we might let him just suffer with some bushes. Because this could give us a path on either side to kind of walk around him. Let's see if that, see how that goes. Oh, I thought this was part of that, but it is not. Okay, scoot that back. Let's see how that goes. So now we can walk through here nicely. We can squeeze through the bushes if we want. I think the NPCs will path through there. And then we don't actually need the stairs anymore. What is this? Get out of here. Oh, it's probably something that spawned from that plot there. That's fine. Okay, we don't need this here. This is a nice pathable area right here. Uh, yeah, we just get rid of these stairs. So that feels a little bit better there. Um, we still have quite a bit of room over here. We do need to get a couple more jobs. So as you guys can see, I... Got us up to the 15 settlers, so this is going to be our max. This is what my aim is, which means we're actually going to finish. We're going to finish this a lot quicker than Sanctuary, and that was kind of my goal. I don't. I don't want to do everyone a 50-person monster settlement that takes 40 weeks to complete. In fact, it's still not complete. I still haven't had time to go back and do all the detail work because I barely have time to do these let's plays as is. Um, you'll see something off in the distance there. I added a uh, oil well over there, so I was. 
I was looking at this stuff over here, and I'd always assumed it was water. But then when I got looking closer, I see there's all these barrels around there. It's kind of black. I'm like, what if that's oil? And even if it's not, maybe there's some lore in the game. If you guys found lore in the game that proves it's not, um, you know, let me know, and, and I'll rethink that idea. But I kind of like the idea that that gave us a sign there's some oil, and we uh, we just went ahead and started digging. Now, I know a lot of people complain about the oil well as as being uh, unrealistic, that uh, you would, uh, that you know, due to the resource wars, blah, blah, blah. You know, I get it, but... Um, I, in my opinion, the resource war thing doesn't mean that the world was completely tapped dry of everything. It just means that there wasn't enough to sustain the usage. So I believe that there would be uh, little bits of it here and there. So that's what the settlers are digging deep for. And uh, if uh, if that doesn't satisfy you, well, I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> I love the oil well model. I think it's really fun to see it's in uh, Fallout to have uh, movable, moving animated workshop objects. They're just really cool to have. So that, and I like that over there. It's just kind of outside of the gate. We've got our, we've got our verticality with the superstructure, and then with our little fence over here. Another thing I realized I got to change is I, I started, I was playing around with uh, some tests of higher level buildings and found out that this particular building has a, a upper floor to it eventually. So that's not going to work. So we're going to have to go ahead and give this guy a swap, and we're going to give this guy a swap too, so that we can have, uh, so we don't have two identical buildings right across from each other. So let's go ahead and randomize you as well. Come back, take a look at those in a bit. So that takes care of that. I think I, I was fighting over the using the vanilla beds or not, and I think now I'm just gonna leave them. So that'll give us. We're now at once those two rebuild, we'll have 16 beds. So this will technically have enough places for 16 people without me having to scrap beds. Um, but maybe I'll scrap one vanilla bed to get it down to a nice even 15, and then that puts us at a good position there. So like, especially if I can find any beds in any of these houses over here let me go double check that real quick and then we can get that down to 15 here we go perfect um so if we have that down to to 15 it will make it so that we, we don't oh, actually look i got more to get rid of here i didn't realize there were so many in these houses but um then i don't have to worry about these houses i don't have to worry about trying to cram more plots in but we are going to get rid of these i don't want people living over in here uh we'll leave some of this other oh my god there are a ton of beds just laying around everywhere. Get ready, you. And I think that's all the spots there's beds. Now let's go check inside of here, because maybe what we end up doing is oh, that's funny. It's Sean's crib. Uh, we move, we build some vanilla beds inside our little cluster of houses, and the ones we're actually using. So we've got this guy, this guy. This place is a mess. It actually looks like somebody. Did I? I didn't do this. This looks very odd. This looks actually. Oh, I guess it was kind of. Uh, this was supposed to be like a camp, so I guess it, it would make sense to have something like that. I was like, that's a real odd way to lie over somebody's house, but thinking about it as a camp, that makes a little more sense. Uh, so we would need a few more, either more interior plots or more beds. I'm not uh, I'm not positive which way to go, but I definitely want to make sure everybody's living in our little houses here. So maybe we stick some beds in these. I'll figure that out later. I'm not terribly concerned about having all of their needs met right now. But uh, as far as jobs go, we have a lot of openings, and our defense is our, our biggest problem right now. So we've got, I think I've counted this a million times on the screen, but it looks like we've got three Marshall plots. Uh, one, two, three. So F4 is definitely in order. Like, even if we weren't, even if we didn't have access to water, we'd still want to have a fourth in the grand scheme of things by the time all this stuff levels up. And I will probably start after I found out that this guy had the, oh, <laughs> that one's got a double floor too. Okay, well, that one's going to get reset. Uh, when I had found out that one had a double floor, I realized that I probably should go through and start leveling up a lot of these, not only to get, to find out problems like that, but also to uh, sort out our, our needs so that this place can be fully functional when we turn it into a city plant. So, Looking at good spots for more Marshall plots here. Um, we could definitely afford one over there, but I'm thinking now I kind of want, I might want one that's not uh, right in the in the heart of our settlement here or something. Maybe, maybe something over here, maybe to protect our water. Um, it actually looks like I left a terraform over here. I was playing around with something over here. We don't need that. So maybe we stick another Marshall plot over here. And maybe we stick something a little bigger. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, we've got these uh, objects for uh, from the contest winner. Okay, let's go to some settlements. That's where we're getting our plots. And I guess one of my reticence about always using the Marshall 2x2 two two plots, and they're not showing up for me anyway, so that kind of, oh, yes, they are. They're under Marshall here, there. Uh, is that uh, there are no none available without add-on packs. So if I put this here, then, that, that, then this plot is basically useless to people who don't have add-ons, but I would suspect most of you are using some number of add-ons at this point. The mod's been around for quite a long time. There are literally thousands of building plans available, so it's probably safe to stick one over here. 
And uh, we'll just have to figure out a model we like. But if we stick something, maybe we'll let it hang just a little over the edge. Do something like this. And I actually liked that terraformer under there. So I think I'm going to repeat. Or I like that terraformer over there. So I'm going to repeat that. But let's find something that matches here in this dirt. Uh, this dead grass is from an add-on. So I don't want to use that one. I want to use one of the ones that I included. Here we go. This one is base included. So we can use this. So we'll go ahead and stick this in there. It's not a perfect match, but it, it's got, you know, you can see some of the similar textures there, so it'll blend in well enough. Um, especially when the, so we're going to, let's see what these edges appear here. Here they go. Yeah, that's not terrible. Um, oops, falling into the outhouse. Okay, so we'll let that thing build. Somebody will get assigned to that. That will take care of a good chunk of our defense needs. Again, I'm going to, I'll worry about the specific numbers a little later when we get things, when we get things uh, all up, leveled up, so we know exactly what we're working with here. So that's going to get built there. And then I'm still not sure how I want to finish this structure exactly as far as uh, roof goes. I, I thought it would be okay to have one set of the warehouse roof. You can see, like, obviously there's that material is available in the area with that building and with this building. So I didn't feel terrible about putting that. Usually I tend to avoid stuff like that. I love just the things built out of, you know, just chunks of uh, plywood and corrugated metal and boards. I love that look as opposed to taking actual build kits. But I made an exception for that extension on the Sunshine building. And then, so what I'm thinking is maybe this this part of the roof though is going to be all all patchwork. So at least some of it, and at a at a distance from most spots in the settlement, you know, when you walk in, it is going to just look like a handmade job, which will be good. And then the, this kind of addition is hidden behind there. But maybe maybe I'll feel the need later to to retweak that a little bit. So all right, so I'm thinking either we're either going to cram some some interior plots or some beds inside of I guess it's just these two. Because this one is all sealed off. This isn't. This is a fake. This is a faux house right here. Like it's all. It's all blocked off. The back end is blown out. Uh, I guess technically, I could close it off. But the problem is this. So this. This right here is unscrappable vanilla, which means it's unscrappable by code. So then I would have to force everybody to walk around here, which would feel pretty terrible. And I guess. I mean, we could kind of get around with that by putting a we could put a fake door on the front so at least it looks like they have access because i'm doing plenty of that faking anyway knowing the settlers aren't going to be accessing stuff so maybe that's worth doing haven't decided yet um so that got us one more job i know that my hud meter is all terrible right now and it always is in sunshine i don't know if you if you guys have ever noticed this but in sunshine the there's a block there's kind of like this section over here of the settlement where and see now my I think my meter's just updated again. Maybe that was my imagination. But anyway, there's like a block right over here where it doesn't technically count as sunshine. And it causes all sorts of havoc in any mod that is looking for location change triggers, which includes the HUD from some settlements. So the HUD is just miserable in sunshine. It actually gets fixed by any mods that extend. Usually if it gets fixed by mods that extend the border of the mo of the settlements. Like uh, Neher's settlement extension mods will tend to fix those issues because he has to remark some, some cells in the game to be part of the settlement location and that just incidentally fixes that kind of edge detection. But uh, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but we'll leave it for now. I do get to wear this guy up. Let's get you here. There we go. Bumps up our defense a bit. All right, so as for other jobs, the we I, I think I've determined many times over we, we've got enough farms there. I'm not going nuts with commercial, but I do like the idea of using some of the commercial plots that just have kind of a, a useful aesthetic to them like maybe they're not i'm not trying to turn this into a commercial area but just something that looks like it would be useful for a little community so on that note let's think about where else we could stick a commercial plot that might be nice so i'm actually thinking that we could tuck one in right here so if we scoot you over let's move this right here maybe and then uh, we change our roof access to somewhere else so maybe our roof access gets moved over on this side or I think actually you know what I might have determined that it was a bad idea because of where the steps are right there but I will uh, I'll fix that in a minute let's see what this looks like though with a commercial plot tucked in here so it's a tight squeeze but there are plenty of building plans that can handle that and then of course we would need we would want to put stick a wall behind it so maybe it goes up a little ways here something like this so there's just a little bit of overlap in that building, but again, I can choose a building plan that works accordingly. And then we do something like grab some of our wall over here and make a copy of it. So let's grab you, grab you, and then maybe this one too. 
Okay, and then let's bring these back over here. Seal this guy off. So they feel secure with their little venture. Actually, I want to swap these because I like the I like the wood, the look of the wood clipping into the uh, rooftop a little better than the corrugated. Oh, that really wants to snap. Okay, let's get you out of here. Scoot you around a bit. And then I guess we need one more, one more little patch job here. Do we have, actually? You know what? I'll go. I'll go do it manually because I want to find. There's one, some that are a little bit curved. And actually, do we want to raise this up a bit? How much more can we raise it? Oh, we can raise it quite a bit. Let's see how that's doing as far as going into the plot. Where are you, plot? No, we're we're a little too tight. A little too tight. Back it up a bit. Overzealous fences. All right, raise you up a bit. Nope. Enough with the snapping. Okay, back to Project Blueprint. Oh, structures, where do we go? Structures right at the beginning. Fences, junk, there we go. And then toward the end, some of these will start, they've got kind of an angle to them. Oh, did I just pass it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, that's that same one though. No, we don't want that one. There should have been at least two of them that had that angle. Yeah, here we go. There we go, got a nice mix. Let's turn off snapping. That's getting obnoxious. Oh, but we want the... Okay, I'm going to have to swap these. So we're going to put... This guy here. I guess we did. I guess the curve is actually in the... Um, it's in the back framework, not in the actual... The front of it. So that was not particularly helpful. But that's alright. Okay, so now we've got a nice uh, wall blocking off here. Siphoning over to here. And actually, let's um, let's go ahead and connect up this thing too here while we're working on our wall a little bit uh which which kind of which flavor i think we'll go to kind of the vanilla -y looking ones the little guys let's see about something like this and actually i kind of like that idea too of let's barricade up the front of this There we go. I'm not sure. I still haven't figured out how I want to do the entryway, but this is this is it's just kind of funnels funnels them in. I kind of like that. Um, we definitely got to change that building plan out. Uh, let's see. Where else can we do roof at, rooftop access here? And this is actually, God, this this shop would have been perfect up against uh, our little thing there with this uh, corrugated metal look. But let's see what's this look like in here. Is it? Whoop, that's no good. Uh, but let's go Easy ahead and. Swap you. Give this guy another pop with the random stick. All right. And then we gotta wire our guy up here, nice and easy. And I like I like making our grid connect in multiple points, especially because of the way city plans work with the. Uh, uh, not that it matters right now, because there's no wiring in. Uh, in city plans, but I like uh, having it connect to multiple points if I can and keep the grid. That's actually why I ended up uh, connecting up that generator up on the roof on that marker that we used earlier. I connected it over here just because I like having it, having it in grid, the grid connected in multiple locations. Okay, so let's tuck you in a little bit. Actually, we can go right in here. This is a nice spot for this. And I kind of want to turn this into a generator room, and I might still do that. Oh, my flight is not working. And let's see here. Okay, so stairs. This is what we're still trying to figure out here. Where is a good spot for these? Because I don't, I mean, the NPCs aren't going to walk up here anyway. This is largely just for me. So, given that, I guess. Oh, you know what? We can actually take advantage of the fact that the buildings, or there's going to be a plot here. I could jump off of that building there. Uh, so it doesn't have to be fully pathable here. Uh, but I guess the other reason outside of just for me is for the immersion's sake of making it look like our guys can get up there. So where's a good spot here? What if we change these stairs out? Okay, you got plenty of room to this plot. And we just put something... Maybe it's not actually climbable for them, but sometimes you can put ladders on a pretty extreme angle and still climb them yourself. So let's try that. Let's go stairs here. Let's change it to this guy. We'll start out with this, and then we're going to twist this guy in a pretty intense angle and see what happens. So, let's change that X, and then we'll pick this up. Kind of a ladder to get up there. 
Oh, but maybe not so quick into the side of the building. Whoa, this uh, building right on top of me just spawned. Uh, let's see. Get out of here. Okay, let's... Oh, I am all kinds of stuck. Let's see. All right, we're going to pop out the front door here. Can I? No, I've got double walls there. Ah. Help, help, I'm stuck. Oh, can we walk out over here? Yes, we can. Here we go. The flight would have really helped. Uh, ooh, that... No good. That does not work there. That is too... Too fancy. All right. So, so, yeah, like I can still shove my way up there. And obviously, you know, we can imagine in our heads that people would be have no problem cl just climbing that. Like a slided ladder. That's not really a big deal. Okay, let's... We got to give that another randomization swat. But, yeah, so this kind of works the stairs. I, I would like this not to clip through there. So, actually, I can just move... I can probably just move the, tall, the hallway a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, there my flight goes. Oh, no, I can't do that. That's, that was way too tricky to get working. So, instead, let's shrink this down a bit. Whoa. And then we will scoot this over like so. And then drop out and try this one more time. Let's see, can I still walk up there? Oh, it's a, it's a challenge. I'm not gonna wanna do it often, <laughs> but yeah, I think that kind of works. Um, and actually we can tuck it in a little bit further. Get it right up against there. That doesn't block any of their pathing. I'm gonna be flying around most of the time anyway. So yeah, that works for me. Hopefully this house chooses something decent. Probably gonna change that boathouse there too. Okay, so we've got um, we've got our one more Marshall plot we've added. We've added two more commercial plots in this guy out here, and then the the clinic in there. Um, that can stay for now. I'm not sure if this will if this will stick around this little Coca Cola shop or not, but we'll leave it for now. A bar does make a lot of sense. In fact, I might want that to be something like uh, I don't know a junk store or something. And uh, one that's not so clipping into that building, and then maybe we need a bar too. Like, I mean, how do you have a, a t how do you have a Fallout Town without a bar? It just doesn't even make any sense. Um, where do we put a bar though? Well, let's see. Maybe, maybe that's kind of what we, this structure turns into. Not inside. Where can, could we could we cram an interior plot right there? I don't think so. I don't think an interior plot's fitting on that porch. But you know, you never know until you try. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What does this guy look like? That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Little porch bar here. Kind of dig that. Um, although I might want to just build one manually instead of trying to use a plot. But let's start with a plot. That is that is shocking that that fits there. That is very shocking. I like it. I like that it fits there. I'm very shocked that it does. I saw a settler earlier walk up to this and uh, act like they were going to use that door. And it actually made me think I should build a a set of stairs there and they might actually use it which would be pretty freaking cool um, as much as I uh, I make fun of the settlers and say I don't care about them pathing correctly it does feel really good when they do so something like this it'll cover up those green stairs uh, actually we'll, we'll leave the edges of the stair of the green showing because it's on either side and we'll see if we happen to find a settler wandering through there at some point all right, so that could turn into a bar. God, I can't believe that that squeezes in there. And then we have the faux stairs. We know they're not going to walk through there, but we'll pretend that they do. So there's uh, and there's another one. So that's we've added three now, and I added three settlers. So that should technically, although I keep forgetting that our fifteenth settler is actually a lie. So we uh, we actually have fourteen right now. So I can I will still add one more. In fact, I, I need to just go update Frank Town versus Front Town and just fix. Uh, Greg, so he doesn't count as a, a settler on there since he's not one. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure I put that on my to-do list if I didn't already say that. Okay, that... I don't know where they would have got a chunk of a subway train, but it looks pretty sweet there. It's, it, I think I'm going to leave it for now until I upgrade it and find out that it turns out to be a double story or something crazy. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm liking the look of this place. It's uh, it's got a It's got a unique feel of a build for Sunshine in that we didn't just wrap the entire settlement. We're leaving a lot of it exposed or our... Living, our living area is kind of locked in. I'm liking that. I like that we got the verticality with this big structure here. I'm still, I'm still loving. I still love just crazy bridges and stuff in places. But uh, I don't want. I guess I'm, I'm a little 
hesitant about having every one of my builds look like that, like a center, a center giant building plus sky bridges everywhere. Is that like all my builds are going to just start looking the same? But I guess I could call it the sign my signature touch. Not that it's unique. I know plenty of people do that, but um, I just really, really love the feel of that. So, all right, I think we're going to leave it there. This is pretty. This is uh, feeling pretty good. I gotta get the. I wish the HUD worked better here. I might to download a mod just for this this save that extends the border just to fix this stupid HUD issue because it would make my life a lot easier while trying to get this settlement all all worked out. But all right, guys, we'll uh, check in next week and see where we're at with this.